And we've got this Royal Power Cast. We've got a uh, little bit of uh, wires exposed here as well as some rubber that's kind of missing from the grip. I've actually got a Royal L bag in here. I had to trim it a little bit, I think, to get it in there. Just because I heard these were known to pop their own bags. Um, the handle adjustment on here does not work. Er, handle release, I should say, it does not work. I'm not sure why, I haven't looked into it too much. The height adjustment does work. It does not have a HEPA filter in it, but I did retain the frame from it. That HEPA filter was just toast. Very, very dirty, and I figured it wasn't doing me any good being in there. But, it's running, so give it a quick... And I will mention, too, that uh, this thing had a slight problem with the brush hole rubbing against the uh, housing. So I had actually... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> I needed to seal it for my airflow testing, so I put a little electrical tape on there to seal that little gap right on the front. But anyhow, on one of these end caps, either this one or that one, there was a... there was a problem with it where this brush roll was rubbing against this uh, belt housing here and it was making this horrible noise so what I had done is I shaved down a little piece of wood and I wedged it in at the back of one of these I'm gonna guess it must be this one since I can't uh, I'm gonna guess it must be this one since I can't see it in the other one but I just inserted a little wedge of wood into there to push the brush roll forward a little bit to get that away from this housing but everything's functional and really I haven't done much with it. It's just, it's not everything I hoped it was going to be, so I really have no intention of keeping it around. Uh, but it's pretty much all there is to this machine.